Hi guys, it's South Beach Simmer here and welcome back to my channel. So finally I am doing the 500 sub Q&A that was probably should have been done about what? <laughs> Two weeks ago. So yeah, sorry about that guys. I've just been stupidly busy and really not too well. I'm still a little bit ill at the moment so sorry if I get all disgusting and phlegmy and ugh. But yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. Um, but yeah, so let's see. So we have, I'll start with Twitter and we'll start from the bottom of Twitter. So uh, Sims Forever asked, what is your favorite color? And what interaction do you like most in The Sims? Really good questions. My favorite color is this color, which is like a kind of seafoam green slash aquamarine color. It's, yeah. It's like my favorite thing ever, and same color as my hair basically. Uh, I like blue a lot, <laughs> since like even this is blue, and yeah, I just, yeah. I like a lot of blue things, it's just, yeah. <laughs> blue is my straight up favorite color, um, but this shade of blue particularly is my all time favorite, so far anyway. I do change quite a lot, but at the moment it's this color. And my interaction that I like the most in The Sims is... That is a really, really good question and quite a hard question as well. The interaction I like the most is probably... I don't know because there's so many of them, but usually I like... Like, really polar opposite Sims, basically. So I like really evil interactions, like the mischief skill for uh, Sims 4 at the moment is pretty cool with little voodoo dolls and things. I love those kind of interactions. I think they're really funny. Just anything, really. I like all of the interactions. I can't just call out one of them. It's really hard for me. Um, and I'm very indecisive as well. Uh, in The Sims 4, I probably like the mischief skill interaction stuff the most. Um, not that I show it much in my gameplay, but I do like a lot of the romance interactions as well because they're quite cute. Um, yeah, I like the animations as well. The romance animations are quite cute. Very cute, actually. Next one is from Harry Simmer, uh, who asks, how did you get into The Sims? Okay, so how did I get into The Sims? Basically, when I was younger, I remember my uncle, I think it was my uncle that bought me it. I, th I have told this before, but it was quite a long time ago that I told it. I think my uncle bought me like The Sims or something and that's how I first got into it. But I also remember when I first, first, first started playing The Sims, when I was a lot younger, the uh, Herbs was out on the GameCube and Xbox. I had it on both. Uh, I played it mainly on, X I think it was, yeah, I, I mainly played it on GameCube. Um, but basically, that was kind of the starting point. So, like, my uncle kind of, I was playing kind of with my uncle uh, on The Sims and stuff, like the original Sims. I also had The Sims on the Xbox. And, but that was very different to the PC version. The PC version of The Sims is totally different because you can obviously have lots of different families etc etc but the xbox one was more centered around the goth family and things like that from my memory it's been a long time since i've even touched any of my xbox stuff um because this is obviously the original xbox not xbox 360 or anything this is like xbox xbox um <laughs> so it's been a while so that's kind of how I got into it, uh, but I've always been interested in that kind of stuff. And I do remember when I was about, I think I was really young, I remember when The Sims 2 came out and on YouTube and stuff, people were making the music videos and the little uh, dubbed voiceover series and I absolutely loved them. I tried to recreate it once and I just couldn't do it because I was, I was really young so I just gave up on it and I'm just thinking to myself, imagine if I continued to do that. <laughs> Official Gali Summer asked, what slash who inspired you to start a channel and who is your big, favourite big Simmer? Um, 
no one really awfully inspired me. I I did I was watching um I think it was I mean at the time I started my channel I was really bored in summer last year. And I was thinking to myself, I have nothing to do. I kinda want some, something to do. And then I was watching I think it was yeah, I think it was Simified that I was watching on YouTube and basically I was just watching one of his uh, builds I was thinking, I could probably do this and then I tried to do it, which is my first 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 ever video which is my, I believe that's my spa day yeah, it's my spa that I made and that took me forever and it took ages to edit. I think it took me like three, four days fully just to do it. To build, edit and then I voice dubbed it as well. Uh, so I did audio over the top and that took forever. I had to re-record that because I wasn't happy with the background. I didn't know how to edit things out and it was just a mess, literally. And my favourite big simmer is a mixture of simmers. I don't, I, I don't have like one ultimate favourite. But obviously, Life Summer, everyone loves Life Summer. Life Summer is great. Uh, I also love Deligracy. My voice is cracking. Uh, so, Life Summer, Deligracy, um, Jen, of course, Urban Sims. How can I just, of course. Uh, those are big, big, big Simmers, I guess. But also, a lot of you guys, like, so. <laughs> Hardy. Official Girl Summer, you are actually one of my favourites as well. Same with Dom, who is Little Miss Summer. Same with Tarasi Simming. Same with all of my friends, that they're, they're like my favourites because they're really good friends of mine. So thank you for asking that question. Patio, which is Crumpet Sims, asks, How are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Uh, I'm a little bit groggy and not so great. Uh, medically speaking <laughs> so basically i have a cold uh, i'm sick <laughs> that's the easiest way for that but yeah i'm good hope everyone is doing good too specter edge asks chips or crisps well that is quite a hard question it depends on whether you're talking about how which one i like the best or whether you I, you're asking me how i what i describe them as so like Americans call chips what we would call crisps in the UK and stuff like that I guess but I like both um I call crisps crisps and chips chips though if that makes sense which it probably doesn't everyone's probably like what the hell are you talking about but thanks for the question okay howdy simmer asks how long have you been playing the sims and how did you get to know it I've already kind of answered that question with Harry Simmer already with how how did you get to know all the Sims but I've been playing the Sims pretty much oh my god quite a long time so basically I have the limited edition Xbox uh, crystal uh, the translucent crystal one which is I got that for like my I think I was 12 when that came out but it seems to I'm pretty sure I was younger than 12 though, that's the problem. I'm like 110% sure I was younger than 12 at this point. Um, I think I did my maths a little bit wrong, so I have a feeling I was about 8. Um, actually when it came out, let's just make this true. So, it came out in 2004. No, I was, I was like 10. I was like 9 or 10 when the Xbox Crystal came out. I had that as soon as I got, I think I got it from my 9th or 10th birthday. But when the GameCube came out I was 7 and it was between those. So like, is this 12, 12 to 14 years ish and I love it. Thanks for your question. Jose, who is Bufflot, I think that's how you pronounce your like at thing anyway uh asks what's your favorite meal and type of food in brackets like italian chinese etc so i love every type of food i literally love food so much 
Food is great. I yes, just just yes. Um, favorite type of food is really really hard for me to put down because I love a lot of different types. Um, at the moment, my favorite type of food is pretty much Turkish, Greek. <sighs> Always love Italian food. Italian food's like a staple kind of thing. Thank you for your question. Lauren, uh, who is Laws Paws, asks, who's your favorite in-game sim or sim family and why? Why do you ask me so hard questions? Why? Um, so my favorite in-game sim or sim family is probably, for YouTube wise, it would definitely be the Accidental Time Traveler family. I love them so much. Absolutely, like, I think they are one of the longest families that I've played for a very long time. And it's a legacy, so it's gonna be quite a big family by the end of it. And there's gonna be lots, lots of stuff going on in that, which I love. Um, but otherwise, if it's like just Sims in the actual game, goth family forever. <laughs> uh, Sarah Pardy asked, what's your favorite way to spend a Sunday afternoon? I spend mine gaming. That sounds pretty fab to me. Usually Sunday is my editing and yeah, a bit of everything day. So I usually do, if there's any recording that I need to get done, I'll do that in the morning or like early afternoon. And then in the afternoon stages to evening, it's either recording again or editing usually editing is sunday and then later on in the afternoon it is mainly relaxing so lying down watching youtube and just scrolling through my phone and doing silly little things and just chilling so that is my favorite way to spend it a sunday afternoon i love editing anyway so it's all good if premier pro decides to actually want to do what i want to do that is <laughs> thanks for the question july v asks what's your favorite pack for the sims 4 so far and what pack do you want to see next so my favorite pack for the sims 4 so far is probably i don't know expansion wise they're not my faves they're, they're, probably spa day actually because that's like the first one that i properly did anything for uh on my channel it's the first video that i ever did basically um I kind of really want to revisit that and uh, redo it, but I absolutely love what we got with the pack and it made me so happy when I got it. I loved it so much. Uh, and what pack I want to see next is University because University is my all time favorite, forever favorite. And I'd love to see what they do for it in Sims 4 and I know it's gonna come. I just can't wait for it. Thank you for your question. Yeah. Unicorn Miwi asks, why did you start YouTube and who is your favorite singer and YouTuber? Okay, I started YouTube because, literally because I could, because um, I saw other people doing stuff that I probably could, I thought that I could maybe try and I did and here I am basically a couple months later. Um, my favorite singer ranges a hell of a lot. Um, it depends on the type of me the genre of music that I'm into at the time and it depends on basically what's happening. But the moment I really, really love Grimes and Halsey, I love them. And YouTuber, I range a lot, but actually my all time favorite YouTuber is, I have three of them and they're all kind of in the same vein, but they're nothing to do with Sims at all. They've never even played the Sims and I know they haven't. Um, they are basically, mind they're mind crackers so in minecraft there is a subset of people on a server called minecrack and three of them are my favorites so there's vintage beef pause and pause and pyro puncher brianna honey Bree, asks what made you start youtube well just kind of answered that but just because i could really because i was bored and in summer, I really have nothing to do a lot of the time. So I wanted to kind of dedicate my time into doing something fun. And yeah. Whisker asks, uh, favorite aspect of Sims 1, 2, 3, and 4? Something different for each game. 
So that is hard. <laughs> and I can't remember that much of Sims 1, to be honest with you, because I haven't played that in absolute years. Um, so I'm just going to leave Sims 1 alone before I disgrace myself <laughs> in front of the entire community. Sorry, guys. Um, Sims 2 would be... Oh, God. I really liked Sim the Supernatural stuff with Sims 2. I did not enjoy Supernatural for Sims 3. Um, so Sims 2, Supernatural, I guess. Sims 3? I don't know. I just... I really like the open world element of it. it, it brought a lot of difference to the game. Um, I am actually quite happy that we're not fully open world again because that was just a nightmare after a while. But it was really fun doing little things and it was really annoying too though because like I remember particularly with the celebrity one where it was like oh there's a party, there's this, there's this and I was just like oh so frustrating. Uh, and Sims 4. Um, is the interactions I guess because the interactions is kind of what is making Sims 4 so cool to me because it ranges it depends on kind of traits they have and how they react and what emotions they're feeling at the time so yeah thank you now we go on to YouTube comments which are a lot less which is nice uh, gaming cookie asks if you couldn't play Sims on Minecraft what game slash games would you play on your channel really good question thank you um i don't know <laughs> um to be simple like i have no idea probably some kind of simulation game so you know those like really crappy little app games um that you can like oh, what's it called i don't know what it's called but probably simulation games mainly rachel simmer asks <laughs> This is like the funniest question that I've got, I swear to God. Would you rather eat poop flavoured chocolate or chocolate flavoured poop? So, just to clear this up, I would rather eat poop flavoured chocolate because although it's the flavour of poop, it's not actual poop. Think about it. Because you're actually eating the poop even though it tastes like chocolate and that's not good for you. But if you're eating just a flavouring of it, but it's just chocolate, that's fine. It's just like eating some chocolate and it just tastes a bit weird. That's fine. But eating poo is a bit different. <laughs> Thank you for your question though. Crazy for Sims, which is Maya, asks, if you could design a new expansion of Stuff Pack, what would it be about and what would it have? I have no idea. Um, I... My imagination is terrible with these kind of things, but I think it'd be pretty cool to have like, uh, like Sims in space kind of thing, like an alien version, but it's totally different to what we have with Get to Work. And she also asks, why Sour Patch Simmer? Are you a, a, as addicted to sour sweets as me? No, I'm not. I've never actually had Sour Patch uh, kid thingies whatever they're called the um yeah sour patch like the, the sour sweet things i've never had them never um sour patch simmer no one else has asked me this and i'm really really pleased that you asked me because no one has yet and i'm surprised that no one ever has my overall kind of it's not right really my use it it's usually my username for everything is Sour Patch Pack. So that is my, like, it's everything. It's my Steam, it is my original YouTube, um, because I have like a username thing, and because I correlated the username thing, it's it's correlated to this, etc. So that's why. Um, so that's why it's Sour Patch Summer comes from that. But Sour Patch Pack, comes from when I had a Tumblr about four years ago and it's been my name ever since. Basically I was obsessed with Team Wolf at the time which I still like, I just haven't watched it for a while and basically it's Sour Patch Pack because, oh, this sounds so stupid when I actually say it, um, because one of the main characters, uh, if you don't know what Team Wolf is, it's an MTV TV show 
that is based on the film Teen Wolf and it is <laughs> ah, saying this is so so bad um, but basically there is like the main character who is played by T Tyler Posey the other guy who is Derek in the actual TV series and he's called Tyler too but I can't pronounce his last name and I can't remember how to spell it anymore because I'm not as obsessed as I used to be. Uh, I'm not obsessed with it at all anymore actually, it's just, it, yeah. Anyway, uh, I don't know how to spell his last name. So basically, um, Derek is always seen as being a sour wolf because he's always uh, like passive aggressive kind of whatever. So that's where, and they're kind of like a pack of, like a family pack. So that's where Sour Patch, well, Sour Pack comes from. And then it's Sour Patch Pack because I needed to to rhyme it into something. I was like, oh, Sour Patch Kids. And it, it works, so yeah. <laughs> okay, Leah S asks, What's your favourite Sims expansion ever? Sims 1, 2, 3 and 4. Favourite one ever, 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 ever is Sims 2 University. I absolutely played that to death. Honeybree asks, congrats, what kind of expansion pack would you like to see in the future that hasn't been done before? Well, I did mention earlier about Marta's question. Um, like, Sims in space would be pretty cool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.